Previously on The Potentialists. We're showing our moments, we're showing our lives. I want to get the show on TV. I love the show. There's no privacy. Oh my God. There are so many shows out there, but there's none that have Latino. We're tapping into a larger market. If we keep doing what we're doing, there's going to be a major difference. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. So I was in the other room, and then all of a sudden I heard this really loud exclamation, this huge upset. This is a stupid happen. Connect your phone to the Wi-Fi. And see if, you can make, if your reception goes any better. With the rain, there's issues. Apparently, Serge got disconnected from a phone call and he got really, really upset. Right there in that precise moment, you need to learn a lesson, which is go ahead and focus on the positive, not the negative. <laughs> when he got to that level of energy that he was really frustrated, nothing good can come from that. Did you get the right information? Can you call this person back and put him on the phone? It gives you a reason to call back? It seemed like he was overreacting to something that could happen to anybody. When you find yourself frustrated, take one step back, evaluate what's going on, and then find yourself, or find a way to put yourself back in the state that you were in before it happened. He felt really unprofessional because the phone dropped, but everybody drops a phone call. I was already talking to the guy. Oh, Jesus, I hate that man. It, it, just, it just looked like a total fucking amateur hour, total Everybody has phone issues. I got to, to the national sales director for the company. He put me in touch with the VP who does the training and does all the stuff so we can get him for the stuff. And I'm talking to him on the phone. And while I'm talking on the phone, everything's breaking up. And... In fact, your vibe was probably the one that made the phone call hang up. And people say, well, that's insane. No, it's not because your energy, your compulsive energy. So you're on that phone and you're, you're not really getting the right words in. The next thing you know, you're like, oh, I wish this, this call's not going that smooth. And boom. Well, good morning, guys. It's been exactly a year since uh, I had my gastric uh, my gastric sleeve done. In a matter of a year, I've been able to lose 100 and about 100 and some pounds and start building muscle on top of that. Speaking of my muscle, I'm on my way to the gym right now. I'm gonna go pick up my dad, go to the gym, and I mean, I'm going to two times a day basically. I'm feeling kind of good, and I have something to show you guys. Especially now, what are you showing us, Miles? I thought, well, I thought about in the car in a matter of a year with the gastric sleeve. About 110. Wow. Oh my God. You could fit you and Dylan in those pants, man. Dude, I'm so proud of you. That's so freaking huge because it's not just only the, the, the bypass, but you've been doing a lot of work. You've been going to the gym. You've been training. You've been running. That's big. Here, pound cam. <laughs> but the funniest part that this is half for me. Look at that. Both of you stand in there. Both of <laughs> you fit. Oh my God. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Hey, Jared, check this out. The style. Yeah, just <laughs> the baggy pants on. Hey, dude, you're in style, man. You're ahead of the curve. Okay. He's such a freaking good energy person since he stopped speaking that I may never want him to talk again. <laughs> I had a nightmare last night, and in my nightmare, LJ spoke. <laughs> and Eric said, You in my dreams, I told myself not to speak. <laughs> 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 so recently, as you may have noticed, we revamped our intro. But what you saw at the beginning of this episode is the thing we spent, LJ, I, Bert, and the rest of the team. We kind of shrunk Sergio down and made him a bit of a mascot, maybe? We're going to be showing, debuting to Sergio, the latest uh, intro for the reality show. Do they have like a little leprechaun Cuban in there somewhere? A what? <laughs> he had quite the reaction. Anyone Are you entertaining me? We entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. You get ready to make it happen. Hey, yo, how you doing? <laughs> Check this out. It's showing from Bolivar. I've never seen anyone turn so bright red so quickly. White to red. The best part about Surge watching 
this video clip of him, he was mouthing along the words. Subscribe so I can get back to you. To himself. You can see him. So we can make it happen with Polo World. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 you guys really leave that in it? No! You're kidding me! You're kidding me! That's great! Yo, how you doing? Check this out. It's Serge from Bowl World. You better like us. And if you got something to say, leave a comment. And check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Bowl World. Feel me?